Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So a different product for Dupe It today, nothing beauty related. So I have been buying these wine gums from Aldi by Dominion for quite some time. I like these, they're a nice fruity flavour and it's just nice for a little snack. And I had a thought. The Maynard wine gums look pretty similar in packaging. The Aldi ones are a little bit deeper in red, but as you can see, very sort of similar thing. Now the Aldi ones has 230 grams and the Maynard 190 grams. But I just wanted to see if they were the same or similar. And I've been doing a little bit of research. I know, get me. So, first of all, let's see about the ingredients. Are they the same? So, glucose syrup, sugar, modified potato starch, which should be on here. Ooh, what's these? I'll roll these on. I have readers, but they don't work for me. Seem to work better like this. Uh, I'm not finding modified potato stock in the Maynards. Um, pork, gelatin, so yeah, just be mindful that these are not vegetarian or vegan friendly at all. Uh, this one just actually says gelatin acids. So these could be, because these have got vegetable oils, there's no mention of pork. So I may be wrong there. Let's just check the pack. Because it usually tells you if they're suitable for vegetarians and vegans. It does not say it anywhere. So I would assume use your own discretion if you want that kind of thing. But these ones definitely have pork gelatine and all the other stuff in it what sweets are made of and we don't want to go into that because neither of us are interested in that part i did a little bit of research about why they're called wine gums as well okay the origin as we have just learned origin origins as we have just learned maynard's wine gums do not have any alcohol in them then why are they called wine gums there are two stories, albeit of questionable origin, about the name. The first one states that after hearing a fiery sermon on the virtues of abstaining from alcohol, Maynard Jr. decided to market the sweets as a nature alcohol moderation. Therefore, he named them wine gums and labelled them with wine names. Um, the second story maintains that Maynard Jr. wanted to market the sweets as so delicious that they should be appreciated like a fine wine. Therefore, he named them wine gums and labelled them with wine names. So, a bit of a difference there. But, yeah, so that is a bit of the history about wine gums. So, I'm going to get these open and I'm going to give them a test. So I'm just going to take a little nibble out of each one because I don't want too much because it's not even lunchtime. And when I was growing up, it's always stayed with me. Don't have anything sweet before your dinner because it'll spoil it. And I don't know why it still stays with me, but it does. So, I've just opened the Aldi ones. Let's open these. I'm glad they're easy to open because I forgot the scissors. What does it smell like? You know, really nice and fruity. Oh, different fruity um, smell to these. I don't know whether the packaging is taking over with it. I don't know. Bit less fruity if you ask me, but natural colours. And these are maybe natural colours and flavourings. So I'm going to take out the same colour and shape if I can. Which in here for the red one. The red ones and black ones always go first. So let's have a look. Oh. Okay then, so they're not got wine names on them anymore, or is that just the one? 
What's around me? So that is not going to help me. Let's see. Yeah, they have. They've still got the wine names on them. I don't know if you drop it on the floor. Why don't I? If you see that? Now, I've just dropped the red one on the floor. So, I'm going to have to get another red one out. I'll pick that one up afterwards. Oh, wow. Well. I'm not finding one. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, so, oh, a bit squidgy flat, squidgy flat. So, this is the Maynard's one. As you can see, it's not very well printed, but it does have Maynard's printed all the way around the suite. Uh, it's quite a, what would you call it? A, um, the words escape me, quite a chunky one. We'll go there with that. And here is the Aldi one. Now it's a little bit more thinner. And the Aldi one's just put the alcohol name on. Nothing else. That one being gin. And the colours are slightly different. And this one might be thicker but it's a bit smaller. If you can see. So I'm going to try this one first. Even though I know what they taste like. Little nail. Oh, here's a tough. Very chewy. Just pop that there. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the fruitiness of this. Mm. Nice deep berry fruit. So once I've eaten that and stopped putting lipstick everywhere. So now I'm going to try this. Let's just empty that from the mouth. It's still. <clears throat> right. And now I'm going to try this Maynard's one. A little bit easier to bite into. That's not as fruity at all. The Maynard's ones used to be quite fruity, but they're not. Mmm, different. Just pop those sweets just there. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not tasting much at all from the Maynard's one. That's quite disappointing. Because these are 49 from Aldi and the main large ones cost me £1 from Amazon. Because I get lots of weird things from Amazon. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm preferring them. They might be a little bit more tougher on the gum to bite into than these. But these have got far more flavour than these ones had. I just was not tasting the same fruity flavour and you'd think Maynard's would be better but it's just not so my preference is going to be the Audi one still much better just more fruitier and half the price and sometimes this can be over a pound so you know might be one pound fifty and I am tempted to try a black one let me just nibble a black one in the main now as well. Mm. No, I'm quite disappointed in those. Right, let's pop the main ice ones back in the bag and the Aldi one. I'll just sort that one out later. 
and you pick the one up on the floor. Mm. I prefer the fruitiness and the, excuse me, the softer squidginess of the Audi ones than I do the Maynard's ones. And the Maynard's ones hasn't got much flavour. I'm a bit disappointed. They'll still be eaten. But, yeah. If you want some my gums, you fancy a bit of a chewy sweet at night, just a little bit of a snack. Because I only have about one or two of these. I try to limit myself. And go with the Audi ones. These ones are pretty bad, actually. These ones are pretty poor. Bit surprised. I'm actually quite shocked because I'm sure these used to taste a lot more fruitier. But they actually do not. And they are... I read that these have also been took over by a craft company. Um, yeah. No. Forget those. Get the Aldi ones. You can get two packs for the price of that pack. Or if them main odds ones end up being pound fifty in your store... Get three pack of Aldi ones, you see. So, <laughs> I shouldn't be tempting you into eating more sweets. I mean, goodness sake, I don't need it. But I like a sweet and I like a chocolate and I can't help it. It's just the way I am. So anyway, guys, that is a short little video. I will see you again very soon. Please check out the Authentic Army in the description box. A group of ladies that are small town creators here on YouTube. Also, please like, comment and subscribe if you would like to. And all of that jazz, it really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. You mean a lot to me. You just don't know how much, but you do. I appreciate you all very, very much. I will see you again next time for another video. Goodbye, everyone. Sing it out, Ash Street.